Welcome back to High on Life. We have to go buy a dodge unit now. And the guys up here. Okay, that's how you do that. I'm trying to remember what the buttons were. Oh, that's a knife button. I don't remember. Ah. There it is. Hey, uh, Gene said you might have the old Dodge unit that goes with this bounty suit. Oh, yeah, we got that. Why? You want it? I want it too. So it'll cost you. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, we, we know how buying stuff works. Useful things. One of those for here's my idea. Ooh. Dodge unit. <laughs> okay. May it fill your days with wonder. All, All right. right, there you go. One dodge unit. Have a nice life. All right, we got it. L let's try this bad boy out and then head back to Gene. Let's see what is this. Durr. Durr. Oh, that's the same stuff. Uh, oh, God, or Gatorol? Come on, you know these ga Gatlins are hungry. Uh, Here's... School, <laughs> Hold all that Gatorol, yeah. Oh, this is a Gatorol. So yeah, to... whatever, fine. Great! Now get out of here. Oh, you bought something again. Watch shot now. But I want to change this. Keyboard and mouse. Control. Control. Dodge, slide bash. Thank you. I see fuel right there. Head back home, now that we have the dodgies. unit so how about it think you're ready for the big leagues kid what what do you mean the big league the g3 cartel that's the next step taking down their head officers okay um, are you you're positive that we're ready for that yeah whatever might might as well try but they won't be pushovers like nine talk so uh well to be honest i don't care if you live or die you know that you know my whole deal but uh, hey it's your funeral so go check out the bounty 5000 whenever you're ready don't you understand? Got two G3 leads for you right now. Krubus and Douglas. You can pick which one you want to let kill you first. I just can't hmm. do it. You're crazy, you know that? <laughs> Neat. When there's a goddamn sandstorm going on, bunch of fucking sand in my eyes. No, you're you got a helmet on. No, I don't. I don't. Check for you. Hundred pesos. navigate through this I, I i can't even tell which direction we're going anymore oh yeah no you, you can kill these guys nobody cares they're just like 
like, you know, guys to shoot. Oh shit, Greebles. L look at them go. They eat up broken ship parts. Does it taste good? I have no idea. I'm not, I'm not about to give it a taste test. Ugh, I'm getting sand in my mouth. You fucking helmet wearing piece of shit. You don't, you can't relate to this. Why don't I have a helmet? You're getting me the helmet upgrade the second we're done with this shit. I don't think that's how it works, but... Ah. Damn, this crash ship, I'm telling you, full of ghosts. Oh, I think that's Old Town in the distance. You know, that was the first settlement out here, pre-G3. We gotta pass through there to get to Douglas. What is this? Crash bag babies online, Oliver. What? Okay. <laughs> All right. I heard scavengers used to suck in freighters with a big magnet and loot their cargo. You know, I mean, this place is fucked. You know, Port Turin. Here we are. Is there like another upgrade I'm going to get or something? Oh. I don't know yet, so... Whoa, whoa, careful! Hey, hold on. You know, maybe we can use that to our advantage. How? Hey, you know, I, I'm sure this goes without saying, but, the, you know, that green stuff is toxic and will, da will hurt you, so don't go in it, into it. Obviously. Where did all this shit come from? Don't know. But it's ours now. Wait, what's that sign? Sandworms. Oh, shit, that's right. Okay, yeah, we, we, we gotta be really careful. Shit, that's a big worm. Ah. What is that? Okay, that was weird. Hey! For you, but uh, I've been on a, I've been on a lot of adventures, and uh, I can tell you <laughs> firsthand that this is uh, pretty lame. So let, let, let's let's get to the good stuff. All right. Let's get ready for supper here. I'll, I'll prepare the meal. Here we go again. Watch it. Seriously, I, I'm mm. getting, all right. I can see Old Town. It's just across this bridge. And uh, you know, I'll tell you what. Support thieves have their spot, but they are not the end all do all of uh, construction. You know what I mean? Hey, listen. Uh, I'm gonna check. Keebler. Can't be called us a Keebler. Are we even brothers anymore? Are we even brother? Are we even related anymore? You're gonna sit here and call me a Keebler. You make me fucking sick to my stomach, brother. You're a fucking sick human being, brother. I'll tell you that much. All right, look, look, look. Take it easy, all right? Okay, listen, Jimmy, make your case for support beams. I'm willing to listen. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Joey. All right, so support beams, what do they do? 
Well, it's in the name. They support, and they're beans, and they go from the ground up to the thing that you're building, you know? And yeah, sometimes they gotta be tall. That's part of the game, you know? So don't, you know, look at me with the cross-eyed look and call me a fucking keyblower when I'm fucking talking about a goddamn support beans and you're getting all pissed off at me. You know what I mean? The support, it's for the support of the thing. And uh, well, what are you gonna do? You ever seen those houses with the big old support beams coming from the bottom of the house going to the side of the hill, you know? Yeah, sure, I wouldn't want to live in that. You just can't even room to hold more primary ammo. That's where you can miss a lot more and still not run out of ammo. Oh, or you can just not miss at all and get more shots in. Up to you. Nice. That was worth. And worm can get me here. Enter the unidentified wreckage. I wasn't on the stuff though. Alright, fair enough. No way to get over there. Nope. Let's just proceed on. just hang out here some more maybe maybe we eat lunch at some point and uh call it a day come back tomorrow and continue this conversation because i'll tell you one thing we can't get started at work unless we're all on the same page you know we can't build this fucking you know the way to get it. we can't we can't design this uh thing to get across this fucking ravine whoa 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 hey tough guy whoa, whoa. hey look walk wherever you want this is a fucking mac and cheese brothers construction site we ain't done here but you gotta be careful whoa whoa whoa, whoa. hey calm down what the hell how do you want to handle this? Maybe we just, you know, move past Are you them. kidding me? You think you could just walk up into a Mac and Cheese Brothers construction site like you're some sort of fucking Jesus Christ and just fucking walk around like you own the place? There's a goddamn bottomless pit over here, asshole. You think you could survive that? Falling through a fucking bottomless pit down to the bottom? I don't think so. We got work to do. Okay, dipshit? Get the fuck out of here, asshole. You know? Hey, fuck you. You piece of shit. You walk in here. You pissing me off. Me and my Mac and Cheese Brothers were pissed. Hey, hey you know, we're don't, don't fucking, fucking shove us. We, 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 we're hot-headed over here. We don't like this shit. We don't hey, like when somebody walks doing? in and stomps all over our oh, fucking our garden, so to speak, metaphorically. Deal, this is our bro? fucking garden. And hey, you're walking all frick? over the fucking plants we just, hey, all the seeds we just planted, you? you son of a bitch. Hey, you know, we're busy hey, hey, over hey. here. Hey, what the hell are you doing? Oh, I can't believe what we have here. You fucking piece of shit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I can't believe this. What, 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 what are we yeah, saying? What's your big deal, you? What's your big deal, bro? Hey, what the frig? Hey, 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 easy, easy, easy. Hey, 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 hey! Hey, what the hell are you doing? 
Oh, I can't believe what we have here. You funky piece of shit. Holy shit, those guys are intense. You know, you could have killed them, right? I would have been fine with that, I think. What do we big got? Deal, you? What's your big deal, bro? Hey, what the freak? Hey, 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 easy, easy, easy. What's your big deal, bro? Hey, 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 hey. You fucking piece of shit. Oh, I can't believe this. What, 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 what do oh, we got? Oh, you gotta be got? fucking kidding me here. Oh, I can't believe what we have here. This alien's a piece of shit. Hey, what the hell are you doing? I got money for that. Hey, fuck off, you monster. Who trained you? Who raised you, you animal? What kind of tornado? You're a piece of shit, alien. I hate you. You fucking with us? How dare you? What's no your big money. deal, bro? Oh. Well, great. You killed all the weird construction guys. You know, we're free to move along now like we were before we killed them. Hey, sorry. Us mac and cheese brothers, you know, we can be a little hot-headed. You know, it's fine if you kill any of them, you know? We're all really loud and annoying, so I get it. You know, our family has a lot of brothers, so... Yeah, you know, it's no real big loss. It's fine. Listen, I'm Jackie Mac and Cheese. L l let me let you in on a little secret. This bridge ain't never getting fixed. You know, if we fix it, we're out of a job. So, you know, we're taking our sweet time, you know? Oof, you just shifted into the gray zone or the dark, whatever, the evil zone. Nice work. All right, Old Town, we just move through this place and we'll, we'll get to Douglas. Hey, you with the snap was looking to get into Old Town? Hey, we should talk to this guy. I calls him like I sees him. He eats Hit all. Howdy there, partner. Welcome to Old Town. They call me Old Wet Grundy. How can I help you? So, uh, well, you know, tell us, what, what, what is this place? Well, I just told you it's called Old Town. Back when settlers first landed on this asteroid, we formed a little trading post free from galactic law, where anyone could come and do as they please. Nowadays, Dragtown steals all the thunder, but for a few years there, Old Town was nothing to sneeze at. All right, so Old Town is the old town, and Dreg Town is the, the, the new one? Old Town has heart. Used to serve a real purpose for the people. Dreg Town is just a pit of debauchery and drugs. The concerned G3 cartel. So, uh, why do they call you Old Wet Grundy? It's because I'm old. And I piss myself every day. I'm doing it right now. You're, you're pissing yourself while you're talking to us? Oh, yeah. Big time. It's still going. Ooh, this is the good one. Why? Hey, do you happen to know where we can find a, 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 a guy named Douglas? Douglas? The G3 fella? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he, he's a rough one. Never seen somebody drink as much as him. Why, just last night, I, nope, I, I shouldn't speak out of turn. The G3 don't like that none, and I don't like them. 
Just head down to Dreg Town. I'm sure you'll find them. And how do we get to Dreg Town? It's 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 been a little bit for me. Oh, that's easy. You just go through this gate, pop an old town, and shoot straight down the main strip. You can't miss the big Dreg Town entrance. It's a real goddamn eyesore. Wish they'd get rid of it. I'll open the gate for you. Oh, well, thanks, Grundy. That's old Wack Grundy. And of course, opening the gate's my whole job. It's why I'm here. I'm happy to do it for some charming young rubbish numbers like you. <laughs> Have a good time in there, youngin. That party last night was crazy. Did you see how wasted Douglas got? Hell yeah. Joining the G3 was the best idea we've ever had. Oof. Hey, I think they just mentioned Douglas. Me too. I'm all fun. How? Hey, look at that weird scary bounty hunter suit. Let's get him! tell people that hey sorry excuse me is i uh, just curious is is uh th there a fella named douglas down there what, like g3 douglas uh yeah it's his job to be down there i heard he was partying pretty hard last night though Kento, you probably have heard of me. I go to all the town hall meetings and complain about all the G3 recruits coming up to Old Town and causing a ruckus every day. I'm pretty famous. Oh, 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 oh. Huh. oh shit, more G3 causing trouble. Mysterious feeling that there's probably some more G3 causing trouble, you know, somewhere around town. We, we should, we should maybe d deal with it. Thank you so much for saving me. Oh my God, thank you. Uh, but you know what? I kind of, I'm kind of thinking I would have fucked him. So now I, I don't know. I'm gonna go think about that. See you later. Let's use my glove shot. they come from <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Shoot it. Shoot the can. Oof, more
more drunk recruits. Have you learned anything from Douglas? I'll get it this time. <laughs> yeah. Let's clean this town up. I'm rubber in your glue, and I'm... Any point in coming over here? Doesn't seem like it. Oh. Hey there, fella. You're not from around here, are you? <laughs> I guess that sounds like kind of a cliche thing to say, doesn't it? But no, I'm genuinely asking. My name's Kate Mittens. Well, not really. Everyone calls me Kate Mittens because one time I got real drunk and stuck my hands into a big cake. They thought it was so funny. They started calling me Cake Mittens so much that I forgot my real name. Even my parents can't remember. What? What do you want? You new to Old Town? You think it's okay to just walk up to a stranger and talk to them? Because, yeah, it's, it's fine to do that. There's no laws here. Go ahead. Finger Flutie's my name, and Trungle Funk's my game. Oh, yeah, no, I, we, we don't know what the fuck Trungle Funk is. Oh, you look confused, but I can tell you want to hear my sweet flute tunes. Am I right or am I right? Park your rears and clean your ears. It's Trungle Funk flute time. Okay, you know what? I, I'll admit it. This is good. This is good. He dances while playing it, though. My species is really alcohol resistant, so I just buy so much more alcohol just to get even the slightest buzz. Sometimes I just pay for three kegs right off the bat, and if I'm lucky, 
I can drink them fast enough to feel, feel something. Hide it in plain sight. Well, now there goes my treasure. Dang it! Oh, don't look me in the eye after taking my treasure. Unless you want to give me a tip. Oh, flute night. <laughs> You're going to have a good time. You want to avoid the ant folk. Not too kind. What's on the opposite end? That's where I have to go. One less G3 to worry about. You don't belong here, so get a move on. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. Okay, fair enough. Okay, so they're not doing anything of interest. All right, looks like things have quieted down a little bit, you know? Th thanks to us, you know? Quite a team we are. Anyways, uh, l l l l let's, uh, let's poke our way into Dregtown now. Let's go to Dregtown. Money. Need more to buy things. Mercs only. No bounty hunters allowed. Can't I get into there? You just show me that and not expect me to not go for it. Really now. Go ahead and remember to shoot enemies and kill them. You know, I can crawl without your help, by the way. You know, just in case you were wondering. You know, it's obviously a lot easier if somebody's gonna kill yeah, me. Get around, hit by text. Those were. And I'd be just fine with that. You know, back on Gatlas, we used to have Gatlin hand horses carry us around everywhere. So yeah, like you look. <laughs> and then we made robot ones and wonderful. But guess what? We didn't need it. We could cr crawl anywhere we wanted. So, but it is nice that you're carrying me around. That, that that's much more convenient. Thank you very much. Okay. Did you stop all the troublemaking recruits in Old Town before I even asked you to? That was gonna be a whole quest thing! I, I was gonna ask you to do that before I let you in the gate. But but hey, you're a go-getter. Uh, you just kill that asking. I, I love that. Head on in. Uh, thanks. Oh, you wanna talk to me? You got some questions for me? I mean, do, do you like sitting here guarding this gate? Seems kind of boring. Oh, I hate it. Worst job I've ever had. All the new G3 recruits come busting in and out all day and all hours running around, shooting the place up and causing trouble. I'm always really freaked out I'm going to get shot and die, but <laughs> hey, it's a living. How do you like, you know, li living in Dregtown? Oh, of course. There's always a ton of cool shit to do. Uh, gambling, shows, dodging straight bullets. This month, they got Zubles doing a big show on the main stage. I'm gonna go see him and ask him to marry my daughter. You only get one shot, you know. 
Can, can you tell us a little bit about Dregtown? Oh, it's your classic den of sin and villainy stationed on the underside of an asteroid. You know the drill. The, the G3 kind of runs things unofficially. They're just everywhere down there. They, they got a whole training facility and everything. So, you know, classic shit, like I said. So, uh, you know, I'm just, just making small talk here, I guess, but what, what do you what, what, what do you do for fun? Oh, plenty. I usually go down in a drag town and get fucked up. I love doing Fergals, but I've been hearing great shit about those new humans. Uh, yeah, I've been saving up to try some out. Oh, 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 and I've been binging Space Version Frasier. Hmm. Huh. Hey, have, have fun in Dregtown. Be careful, a uh, lot of G3 guys down there, and they're a bit trigger happy. The G3 really spruced up Dregtown. You can get anything you want down there. Drugs, sure. Sex, yep. Those are the only two things I can think of. Oh wait, laptops. You can get laptops, I bet. Drugs, sex, and laptops. That's Dregtown, baby. You heading down to Drag Town? It's way cooler than Old Town. I, Old Town's a boring dust bucket, I'll tell you that much. I hate Old Town. I just stand around here telling people how much Old Town sucks. That's what I do. That's my that's my cool. That's what I that gets my rocks off. against violence Oof. well that, that falls in our favor huh we don't, we're not gonna have to worry about any trouble in this area moms here in Dragtown got together at the last mama palooza and decided it would be fun to have a few small sectors where we don't all kill each other all the time we don't have anything against <coughs> anyone who loves violence but it's just not our bag you know also all our children are in their 30s at least so this isn't about them we don't really care if they die. We just happen to be moms who hate violence. Have fun out there, kids. I'm Senator Thomas Michael Phillips, and I support Mothers Against Violence. Huh. Who need Glad you stopped by. Now fucking buy something. Need something else? Look, I'm a violent person, all right? That's just who I am. I can't help it. Now, okay, sure thing. You need anything else, or are you good? All right, all right, come on, get a move on. Stop by if you need something. You need something? I got it. Wow, so this is what a G3-run city looks like. Anyway, yeah, I'm excited to join the G3, but I'm gonna miss my wife and six kids. Oh, yeah. I had mine killed before I left, so I wouldn't feel bad. Wow, that's so smart. I'll do that, too. I'm gonna kill my wife and kids so I don't miss them. Okay.
So like I was saying, my brother told me Douglas is really into torture. <laughs> like sexually? Does it matter? Yes, to me it needs to be sexual. Why are you telling me this? I barely know you. Oh, my bad. Yeah, just sort of spilled out. Well, now you know. Do with it what you will. I'm not doing anything with it. Feels like there's another batch of new recruits every damn day. Like they must run through these guys like I run through a sleeve of Oreos. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I've killed a few myself, to be honest. I can't say I blame you. Bunch of no good Gorzos coming here, you know, taking our jobs, eating our Oreos. Hey, why do you, you know keep I mean? mentioning Oreos? Are, are they paying you or something? I have no idea what you're talking about, man. I am in no way affiliated with Nabisco or the parent company Mondelez International. Yeah, I just want to stab it. Were you guys at the party last night? I can't believe Nipulon showed up. Oh, I saw. Nipulon is so cool. He was looking real good. Easily the hottest G3 officer. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Nipulon's not as hot as Sector Giblets. What? Nipulon's way hotter. Trust me. And he's got charisma. That goes a long way. Oh, I hope we don't have to meet Douglas. Yeah, jeez. That guy scares the shit out of me. He was trying to play Gary alive at the party last night. He should have. Honestly, Gary's a racist. Oh, yeah. Gary needs to be flayed alive for sure. Just, you know, there's a time and a place. Maybe we shouldn't be talking about this stuff out loud. what I think they are. I hate the G3 like everyone else, sure, but hey, if the G3 wasn't here, who the hell would be buying my sounding rods? Sounding rods? Yeah, it's a little metal rod you stick up your urethra, if you got one. It's the family business. We sell little metal sticks you shove up dick holes. You think you're better than me? Well, you are. You 100% are better than me. I'm dirt. And the G3 wants to buy all my sounding rods, so fuck off. Uh, okay, uh, all right then. Okay. Mens. If you touch me again, I'll sue you. Fuck, you just broke my kidney. Please don't touch, I'll explode. Excuse me. Thanks for that much needed touch. Douglas was fucked up. Oh yeah, that guy was pounding a back like a full-grown scrubulon, which are like the Irish of space, in case you didn't know. But you do know, we all know space stuff. Yeah, goddamn, I don't want to stereotype, but I bet 50 pesos Douglas has some scrubulous blood. <coughs> I'm gonna go look into that. All us moms here in Dragtown got together the last Mama Palooza. Damn, can you believe they built all this on the bottom of an asteroid? Sh I, I mean, I, I, I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's a good place to hide out, I mean, but yeah. Oh, they convinced me. Let's join the G3. <laughs> Hello there, my child. I'm from a sweet little organization called Mothers for Violence, and you're about to enter a sector under our jurisdiction. That's right. There's Mothers Against Violence, and then there's us, Mothers for Violence. We're a little different. We love violence, and we want more of it everywhere. Us and mothers may disagree from time to time, but there's one thing we all have in common. We're all mothers. Stay safe out there. Actually, don't. Go shoot people. We love violence. I'm Senator Thomas Michael Phillips, and I support mothers for violence. I support all the mothers. I don't stand for anything. I lack conviction. I let these mummies just boss me around and I do whatever they ask. <laughs> okay.
Okay. Whoa, look at that. Look at that. They got they're they're, they're fucking dealing with some greebles over there. Dumb fucks. Crystal. Give. Yes, you can find these valuable gems inside loot boxes and what races that have been charged cleared of enemies. They can be traded. Oh, change for a warp disc. Who knows what they're for? Okay. Thank you. I'll take this one too. You just got a warp crystal. I got two of it, in fact. Bunch of these, yeah, and bring them all to me. I'll trade you some good stuff for them. So it's like a shield. Sorry for spying on you, by the way. I hacked into your suit and I'm watching everything through your visor. Very fun. Okay. G3 training facility. Maybe Douglas does the training in person. Dad, here's about the torture. Uh, the last one was about joining the G3, but this one is about how I love torturing. It's not an ad for anything. It's just like a reminder that part of my job is also torturing people. Enemies of the G3, random okay, strangers listen, who look to be funny. Let's try to get inside. Anybody. I'll torture whoever. Doesn't matter to me. I just love doing it. Okay, that's it for this one. That's a wrap. Hey you, check this out. I got some goop here. You're gonna love it. You can use it to sneak in. Come over here. How old are you? Hey, hey there. Thanks for coming over here. I'm the goop guy around these parts. You wanna sneak in the G3 facilities? You gotta get covered in goop. That's just how it goes. My stuff's quality. So you want some goop, right? Uh, you know what, me? How about no? Fair enough, but you won't be able to go any further till you get my goop. So you'll be back. They all come back. 
I mean, he's right, but I just want to see what they say when I don't have boop. So let's find out. And I did need to get surgery to remove shrapnel. Come on down to Douglas's training center. Get, do you want to... Do you want to fuck? Well, if you're in the G3 cartel, people think that's hot. So you can and fuck. G3 cartel, pretty cool. G3, fuck yeah. We rock and cock. G3, what's in your wallet? Sorry, G3 recruits only. No yellow goop armor, no entry. Beat it. God damn it. Okay, we're gonna need to find some way to get in. Yeah. That was the interaction I wanted to hear. Psst. Hey, hey, you. Check this out. I got some goop here. You're gonna love it. You can use it. I knew it. Psst. I knew you'd be hey. back from my goop. And hey, no judgments. None of my business what you're up to with this goop. You can go nuts. Judgment free. Planet Fitness. I'm putting you down for some goop. That okay? Hey. Uh, yeah. I, mean, I guess we don't really have a choice. Perfect. Head down the alley there. Just, uh, let the magic happen. I guess. Uh, don't, don't worry. First goop's on me. Just tell all your buddies about it. I'm the goop guy. I do goop stuff. Oof. Oh, my God. Oh, gee. Oh, my God. Not, not what I was thinking it would be. Okay, oh my god, Th this better fucking work. Hey, look at you, you're all gooped up. I gotta be honest, it won't last long, it's not the real stuff, so you better be quick. Get in, get out, don't stay in there too long, don't lollygag, because this stuff's gonna fall off. That's the goop guy, promise, that's the guarantee. You're 18, right, by the way? Okay, thank you. Let's just go, let's just go. In town, that place is a wild, have fun. Hmm. I got so fucked up last time I went. Okay. I don't know how it happened, but I gave birth. Some impreg fetish shit happened to me, IRL. What? It was really crazy. That Drake Town for you. No idea what happened to the kids I had. What? Oh, looky here. We got another gooped up G3 recruit. Be advised that the G3 cartel is not responsible for any life threatening injuries you may incur on these premises. But even if we were, we wouldn't give a shit. Who cares? I hope you get shot. Good luck. Uh, thanks. Are you fucking kidding me? They have some whole thing prepared? Shut the fuck up, it's starting. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm sure you already know who I am, but for anyone living under a rock, I'm Douglas, G3 Chief of Training and Torture. And wouldn't you know it, I like to blur those lines a little. Training, torture, what's the difference, I say? Look to your left, now look to your right. Both of those people are gonna die today. You are about to jump right into an accurate work-based simulation of what it'll look like to be on the real battlefield. And let me tell you, you're probably gonna die. But hey, if you don't, you get to join the G3, big whoop. All right, that's it. Lock and load, fuckers. Oh my god, is that... All right, shut you it saw off. that, right? I got torture that was in a Gatlian. Do. Douglas has a Gatlian. We, we, we gotta rescue her. Jesus, these fucking Merkeloids. Oh, fuck, here we go. I, shit, I hope it's not too difficult. They were firing at me. Are you kidding me more? That's the last of them, right? Oh, okay, you 
beat all the weak guys. Easy. Really easy. Now go do the obstacle course. Oh, okay. Okay, you know what? It looks like some simple platforming, you know, like what you'd see in like okay, Lucky's Tale on uh, you know, or um, you know, that one uh, that one game that we that we all know and love. Mario Land or whatever. Shit, this must be the beginner course. Come on. I'm slipping, I'm slipping! I'm slipping, I'm slipping! Ah! Impress me if you if you if you get through this because it's pretty simple. Uh, I have a pacemaker. <laughs> One zap would kill me. Hey, you go on ahead. You know, thinking maybe I should just go be a CPA instead. Uh, that, 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 that would be a safer life. <laughs> you think if I ask nicely, they'll turn off the electricity? Okay. Okay, l let's just get this over with, please. Can jump! God damn! That was a little that, that we we made it. That was a little tough though. Congratulations, shitheads! So you made it past the first training exercise. Big deal. That one was easy. We lied and said it was hard to scare you. Oh, it's fun to freak you out to fuck with your heads. Now get ready for exercise two. It starts in one hour. That's right. You have to wait a full hour. We're testing your resolve, so just stand there patiently and wait. Then this door will open and you can continue. Uh, okay, there's no way we're waiting a full hour. Wait. One full hour, so I'll see you guys in an hour. No, not really. Seriously, for fuck's sake, don't make us wait a whole hour. Hmm. Bounty hunter, please, for fuck's sake, I'm begging you, just find another way out of here. Okay, thank God. Okay, let, let's ditch this whole recruiting bullshit thing. for very long. Oh my god, hello! Thank god you're here! My name's Dr. Jupy. Douglas kidnapped my whole family and I'm trying to sneak in and save them, but I just can't get through these pipes in the next room. Oh my god, I'm freaking out! Hey, whoa, whoa, l l listen, little guy. We're trying to find Douglas, too. You know, maybe we can help each other. God, I'm so worried I'm gonna, gonna throw up. You really help me? Oh, gee, I'm, I'm so grateful. Follow me. You gotta connect these pipes for me so I can get through and save my family. Hey, don't worry. This is a classic textbook puzzle situation. I think me and my bounty hunter partner can figure this one out. Don't even worry. Oh, how wondrous. I'm forever in this. Wow! You did it! You got the door open! Listen, I'll never forget this. You're my personal hero. Oh, come on. You're too, you're too kind. It, it was easy. Oh, did you say you're heading to find Douglas, too? His office is that big building up on top of Dregtown. Uh, there's a zip line just past here that'll take you right to him. Huh. Well, all right, then. I, I, I hope the guy gets his family back. Here we come! That was the hardest part behind it! 
guess this is basically done. We finished this shit. We are fully out. Oh, fuck. <sighs> okay. W w what is this? Congratulations to all of you worms who made it this far in your training. It is now time for the final test. A bloody free for all. Last one standing gets to join the G3. No rules, just killing. Good luck, shit heel. God damn it, another fucking thing with this. Holy shit, just kill them all. I'm running. Let them kill each other. <clears throat> I'm gonna watch the show while the shield's up. If only they were all this week, you know? Hey, you're gonna keep on swimming them? Thank <laughs> you. 
Congratulations, graduates, on joining the G3 or whatever. I really can't stress enough how little I give a shit. Now report to your commanding officer and we'll send you off to die fighting for us on whatever dumbass planet we decide. See ya. <clears throat> Hmm. Met a really nice alien. Good job. Name's Twig, and we're gonna grab coffee sometime. Oh, she's dating now. Don't judge me, okay? I'm allowed to get coffee with an alien if you're allowed to carry one around with you everywhere. <laughs> There's nothing behind here. Oh, that was for nothing. Come on now. see you i'm so happy we keep running into each other oh look who it's our old buddy it's our old Get friend dr Jupy. what are you talking about how wh how's it going uh, there's another locked door i'm running out of time god i'm so worried about my kids and a little bit about my wife but mostly my kids okay well, we'll, we'll see what we can do oh my poor kids i hope douglas doesn't kill them i can feel my wife plenty calling for me Solve this one too. Thank you. Oh, Plimmy and the kids are probably so scared without me. I hope Douglas isn't torturing them right now. I don't want to rush you, but I'm getting nervous. Swoopy and Froopy would really like you to. Oh, they good kids. I can't wait to introduce them to you and tell them about everything you did for me. They need good, strong role models. Douglas's office isn't too far from here. I'm going on ahead. I'll see you there. Jesus Christ, Douglas is gonna kill Dr. Jupy. Look at look how weak and, and cute Dr. Jupy is. Forget about it. Is that my motivation for fighting him? Off we go! This is an urgent announcement. This sector has temporarily been designated as a mother's for and against violent zone. That means there's probably just going to be a lot of violence. An intruder has infiltrated the G3 recruitment program, and there will be lots of violence here until we find and kill them. And remember... Huh, I guess they're talking about us. Remember, I'm still here, and I support any and all mothers out there. I'll believe whatever cause they ask me to believe in. Hot mothers, not hot mothers, I love mothers. So they know I'm here, basically. You know what? That looks like Douglas's office, but we can't get in that way. Maybe we can go around back. The long way, yes. Hey, well, don't 
shoot the hook bug. That's probably somebody's pet. I've been trying to. Good thing this isn't a simulation, because there'll be an afterlife waiting for you. Up we go. Not it. Imagine if we died right now, huh? Wouldn't that, that would be awful.
What? We're, we're not making fun of you. W what the fuck is sticko? It's a cool graffiti trick, dumbass. You cover the wall in invisible sticko during the day, then at night you come back to do graffiti and the paint only sticks to the sticko. Okay, so what? You ran out of paint? Listen, you're talking to the right guy. I, I, I can help. Oh, hell yeah. This is some real good graffiti. Spend it all in one place, oldie. What are you, like, 50 years old? That's young to me. I'm 90. My species gets really rebellious right before we die. Oh, look. If it isn't the 50-year-old artist with amazing graffiti skills. <laughs> Thanks again for your help. Dr. Jupy, you're still alive! <gasps> oh, my best friends. This is it. Douglas is right beyond this door. Can you help me out one last time? Yeah, let's do this. Oh, huzzah! Plimmy, Froopy, Sloopy, here I come. Mmm. I was as good at these as you. You're really good. Did you go to puzzle school? <clears throat> oh boy, this is a hard one. Please hurry up, my family could be dying! Oh, it's a checkpoint, huh? Yahoo! You're halfway there. Keep going. You can do it. You're a good team. Well, shit! D does that mean he's... Huh? I, I feel pretty stupid right about now. <laughs> oh, fuck off! <laughs> I was never Dr. Jupy. There is no Dr. Jupy. Are you shocked, you idiot? You complete fucking moron! Oh, of course you are. <laughs> hmm. Suspected your helpless little friend, Dr. Jupy, was actually hiding his true identity. Ha! It's naive people like you that get killed by smart geniuses like me. You know what? Who gives a shit? This is perfect. We're, we're, we're here to kill you either way. Fucking die, bitch. Wait, what? That's the moron still have it backward. I'll be the one killing you. Oh, in fact, those 
do this. Ah, fuck yeah, that's definitely the stuff. Oh, now that felt good. He had some very nice, choppable flesh, actually. It was actually very nice. Oh, fuck. <laughs> All right, dipshit, let's go. What? No hello? Nice to meet you, or thank you for saving me? Why? Like you not dying there was some sort of favor to me? Hi, I'm Sweetie. Thanks so much for rescuing me. How is that, dipshit? Now come on, use my time bubble to escape through the big fan in the corner. Hey, if you want to slow down time, it's ready. Like a. Marksman. Time for a time bubble. At the fan. Where is the fan? My trick hole's ready to blow. Ah, fan. Pretty cool, right? You're gonna find out real fast that I'm the best Gatlian, smartest, most useful, best looking. No, no, come on, come on, I'm pretty good. Where the fuck are you? I heard you made a complete fool of yourself at that party last night. Not good, Douglas. Not good. I'm gonna need you on top of your game now that we've got a hold of these humans. 
was spread thin over on Earth, and I need more troops immediately. Not to mention things are going to start heating up all over the galaxy as demand goes up. Big things are happening, Douglas. Get excited and get your fucking shit together. Okay, yeah, fuck that. All right, change again. You're just not gonna let me for now. I hope nobody got you a brand new these cool guys up. gun that they want to use and use uh, uses it on us. I hope that doesn't happen, because <laughs> I know it's not likely that it would. I just popped into my head. I thought I'd say that. So, uh, let's just pray that doesn't happen. I bet the gun that they might have gotten has cool abilities that they probably want to try out, and we're like maybe a target for them. Let's just hope that's not happening right now. Let's hope instead that there's nobody around. And I just get to stand here peacefully with you, and we get to hang out and enjoy the, the night, the Dregtown night. I actually don't know if there's a day or night situation here in Dregtown, because we're on an asteroid in space, and there's not really a sun, so it's dark all the time because of space. But is that night? Does that count as night? Um, does that count as night? That's my big question, and I, I, I'm only talking about this to keep my mind off the fact that I feel very strongly for some reason like someone's about to sneak up and attack us with their brand new weapon. That's just, I don't know why that keeps jumping into my head, and it's an, it's an intrusive thought, like when you want to drive right into traffic, and I, I, I always follow my intrusive thoughts. I always drive right into traffic. It's a miracle I'm still alive. I have killed so many people by driving right into traffic. Because I, I, I'm an asshole. I keep surviving. I should be dead. Because I'm, I'm killing families in their innocent vehicles and by doing this. Because I just, my brain thinks, you should drive into traffic. You should drive into traffic. And then I do it. I don't even question it. One time my brain's like, you should jump off a cliff. And I did it. And again, I survived. I'm very lucky. So maybe if there is somebody here who's trying to kill me, maybe I'll be so lucky that I won't die. Because all these other life experiences point in the direction that I am hard to kill. I don't die easy. But also, maybe that's like a tee-up for some ironic twist where I die very easily this time. Because I'm so confident and my hubris allows me to be just popped like a balloon. And then I just am gone and that's it. That's the end of me. And, uh, you know what? That's probably what's gonna happen now that I think about it. So, I'm just gonna take in the night, whether it's a night or not, enjoy it. And these will be my last few minutes alive, I think. I'm pretty sure this is it. I, I can just feel it in my bones. This is it for me. I'm gonna get shot by somebody with a cool new gun in any second now. And uh, maybe they wanna enjoy the night too and sit in silence for a bit, but they are gonna shoot me, I can just tell. That's gonna happen. So here we go, it's silence time. And if anyone wants to shoot me, I'm at peace with it. I'm ready to go. I've, I've already decided my life's over. Fuck it, shoot me, come on, shoot me. I dare you now, I fucking dare you. Come on, you wanna try out your new weapon? Do it, fuck you, whatever. <sighs> You look so sad. These idiots! Hey, you wanna know my real hat trick? My crystals stick in the bag and they'll explode if you hit them real hard. Like with your knife. You get it. Go nuts. After hitting it with <laughs>
Oh, now we gotta get across, huh? Hey, you wanna see what else this time bubble can do? Great! Perfect! Now hurry and cross before it wears off! Incredible, right? What a thrill! You know, you can use that time bubble on the G3, too. And try loading the bubble up with the crystal. Then you'll see why I'm the best Jetlian. <sighs> We're gonna make a good team. I can feel it. Just listen to everything I say and never use the other Gatlians. Oh, what a fucking ripoff. So what's next? You turn in the bounty somewhere? Go do that. We can wrap this up. I guess now that you have more Gatlians, old Kenny's taking a back seat, huh? Sweezy's out, fuckers! Hey! Look who's back! You think I'm supposed to be impressed that you killed a G3 officer? Y well, okay, yeah, fine. I am. I think it's pretty insane you didn't die. That's all you're getting out of me. Now, turn that bounty in. That's my daddy, honey. You think I'll listen to you? I don't know. He hasn't so far. Well, maybe I should go with you. I think Michael's trying to say that's a good idea. Yeah, let's do that. Hey, what you gonna turn in that bounty or just loiter in my living room? You Who's that with you? Did you get a new Gatlin? Yeah, your <laughs> name's Sweezy. Get used to it, you old fuck. Oh, I get it. You must be in shock because you were actually able to kill a G3 boss. Me too, pal. We're both gonna need some time to process this. <laughs> we're not here to surrender. We're here to negotiate. Oh, hey, another girl on the team. Good. Actually, I mean it. I'm not being snarky. That's so nice to see. Yeah, yeah, don't get too excited. We're not even the same species. There we go. Look at you. You're getting the hang of this bounty hunter thing already. How'd the mission go? They killed a G3. Looks like I taught them well. Wow. Really? Whoa. Okay. Well, I'm impressed. <laughs> Yeah, I was, I was always hoping you'd find your calling. I just I didn't think it would be bounty hunting. But then again, I don't know what I thought it would be. Maybe hairstyling and not good at it. And what's wrong with bounty hunting? Ugh. Can you please tell this dried up sack of shit to go home? I don't want to share a couch with him. Tough titties, Leslie. You're kidding me, had a deal. It's Lizzie! And that's not my kid. Jesus, we're siblings. Sorry, I don't know how your species works yet. Sibling, fine, got it. Doesn't change a thing. I live here now. Come on, can't he find his own place to stay? Hey, that's not right. I'm barely taking up any space. You know we had a deal, fair and square. Yeah, I have no problem with it. Oh, come on. We barely know this guy. You're really gonna side with him over your own sister? Hey, you should be proud. You raised your child to have proper respect for a good, fair business deal. Oh, now I know you're doing this on purpose. I'm the sister, not the mom. But you knew that, didn't you? Sorry. My bad. You come waltzing back in here stinking like dirty Flimborg. Of course I'm gonna get distracted. You shouldn't be hanging out with that Flimborg boy, you know? Can't trust that species. Tweeg's harmless and nice. You're being spacist. And he's not my boyfriend. Yet. Trust me. Flimborgs are bad news. Come on, have my back here. Whoa, really? Uh, you don't have to side with this guy just because he gave you some cool toys. Plus, I feel like he's just using you. Look, I appreciate the loyalty, kid, but I am actually a bit of a spacist. I'm trying to work on it. God, I just don't think I can take much more of this guy. What, you think this is easy for me? If I'm pissing you off, at least you can leave. But my legs don't work. I'm stuck listening to your boy trouble every time I'm trying to watch my stories. I can't even get peace and quiet in my own home because there's an alien cripple jerking off on my couch 24-7. Hey, c come on. That's a high estimate. Ew, I was kidding. Yeah, me too. I was kidding. 
Hell no, I was kidding. Aren't you gonna say anything? Whose side are you on anyway? Oh, that's just great. Tossing your own sister to the curb. You know I'm the only other human you've got left right now, right? Hey, kid, I'm flattered. Really, I am, but uh, I'm not gonna be your new sister or anything. That wasn't part of the deal. Uh, all right, that's enough excitement for one day. You got more bounties to get to, kid. And you might want to check out the pawn shop to see what you can spend your new payout on. Eh? Oof, that was tense. It's times like these I'm, I'm almost relieved I don't have any family left alive. But, but not really. I miss them a lot. Hey, uh, just so you know, you can use the bounty 5,000 to revisit any planet you've been before. There's portal doors all over. You can just uh, use them whenever and grind for money, look for loot you miss, whatever. Up to you. Just thought I'd tell you. There's the how much money I got. <laughs> oh, you know I'm always game. How much money do I got? We'll go to the store and find out. Eight thousand, huh? Do is slide around and have fun. <clears throat> oh, there's more shit here. <clears throat> Easy. Generate slime faster, no. Hmm. Useful. You better treat that purchase like it's Christine Aguilera. I'm good to go. Well, thanks for connecting with me physically. I think that's it for High on Life. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.